Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to our World Free Online Courses. And today's course will be the Civil 3D for site and parcel. Okay, so now I will show you how you create parcel in Civil 3D. So parcel is actually representation of real estate parcel on your existing ground. For example, you want to create a development area or resident residential area or any parking lot or road. Uh, you can create parcel to uh, know the detail of uh, the area, the parameter, and so on. So to create parcel in Civil 3D, you need to create a site first. So to create site, you go to tool space, and you got there is site. Okay, why we create site? Because parcel need to live on site. So wherever parcel you want to create, you need to create site first. So right click on the site option here and go to create new site. Click on new and this is the site setting for your uh, project. So I'm going to change the name here to residential. Residential, for example, this one is for uh, residential A. And I click on OK. So after I create uh, the site and there will be one site that residential site A. Okay, after you create a site, now you can create the parcel. So to create parcel, you go to create design option here and click on this parcel drop down. So there is few method that you can use to create parcel. So the first one is creation tools and uh, the two one, the other two is uh, for from object and also right of way. So I find it's easier to create parcel from object because uh, you can uh, draw the area of your parcel first, uh, where you want to create the parcel, where you want to create the development area and so on. And then after that, you just change it to a parcel. Okay, so you can also uh, create parcel from the parcel creation tool. This is actually you create the parcel from scratch. So you can also create parcel from object. So I'm going to show you create parcel from object. So I click on this create parcel for object. So I already draw my residential area here. So there will be three uh, property parcel here because I have this three uh, closed loop area. So I just click every line here. Okay. So make sure it's a closed loop object. Whether, uh, if it's not a close loop object, it will not create parcel for you. So after I click everything uh, for my project, and just I click on enter, I click enter, and then this is the setting for the parcel itself. So if you have more site other than what I have here, I have only one site. So you can always click drop down here and choose uh, the accurate uh, site for your parcel and this is the parcel style so other than property so right now I'm creating the residential uh, parcel so I can use this parcel style for property so if you like create road or you're creating a, um, a parking lot or open spaces you can always click this drop down and use the other style that you can uh, get here or you want to create a new one also can you just go here at this create a new uh, parcel style okay next one down here is the label style so this is uh, the label for your parcel so here there is aerial label style so for the aerial label style which means you will it will create label for the every area inside your parcel okay for example uh, right now, it's selecting the parcel name. So it will be only the parcel name uh, inside your parcel area. So I'm going to add like uh, the area and also the parameter. I want to know what uh, the value for my parcel uh, for the area and also the parameter. So I just click this drop down and I choose this name, area and parameter. So later, it will show... Uh, shown the value for the area also the parameter for the parcel 
and I want to click on this automatically add segment level. So this one, it will add the detail uh, value for the line and also the curve, if you have curve in your uh, project. So for example, for my case, I have this curve and then this all segment here, I want it to be labeled. I want to know the value, okay? So this one, you can also change the label style for the line segment, and also the curve segment there, okay? The bearing over distance, or you just want to know the distance only, you just click on the distance, okay? So for the line segment, I'm going to use the bearing over distance, and for the curve segment, I'm going to use delta over length uh, and radius, okay? And last one, make sure you click on this box for erase existing entities. Okay, if you didn't click on this box, so it will not erase this, uh, the line that you, the object that you just draw bef uh, just now. Okay, it will create a two, uh, it will create another puzzle. So there will be a two element in your project. So I want it to, I want uh, Civil 3D to change this line uh, to puzzle. So I just click on this erase existing entities and just click on OK. So once I click on OK, everything, uh, every line and that I draw just now are now changed to puzzle. So if I bring my cursor here, I let it be like a moment there. So it will change to puzzle. So same to this line. So this one is puzzle segment. So just now it's a line. And after I change it to puzzle, the detail or the information for the line there will be puzzle segment. Okay. So if you can see the property here is, uh, if we zoom in for you, the property here is number one, and then it will show the area of this property and also the parameter of this uh, puzzle. Okay. So for example, you want to divide this property into two. Okay, you want to add a property. Okay, you just simply can draw, go to draw and draw any shape that you want to add in your property, in your puzzle. So just click on this line, polyline, and I want to add just one line there to divide this line, uh, this parcel or this property three into two, okay? So what you're gonna do is you just repeat the step, but you need to make sure you are in the correct side, okay? So just go to parcel again, go to parcel dropdown, go again to the create parcel from object and click the line that uh, you just add just now to uh, divide the property and click enter. So the setting will be the same. So Civil 3D will save your setting just now. Uh, the first setting you do when you create the puzzle and the side. So you need to make sure it's you know, in the correct side. Okay, residential A. So my case, oh, I only have one side. So if you have a few sites in your project, so you need to make sure it's on the correct side. So uh, if not, uh, this property here, will not be divided into two. So you will not add uh, more side in this, uh, more parcel in one side, okay? And then the setting here, I'm just going to let it set as before and make sure it's click on this use as it is and just click on okay. So now if you can see, I click on okay, this property two are divided, divided into two and it call another space here, property four. Okay, so you can see here the arrangement of uh, the number are uh, wrong. For example, uh, you can see one, if I go here is uh, four, three, two. So I want to change this one and then this two, three, four. I want to change the arrangement of uh, the number. I want to renumber it, okay? To do that, just click on the label there. Okay, make sure you click on the label and make sure it's highlighted the, the area of your parcel. I want to start my parcel here. I want to uh, start one here and then change this uh, property four to two. I want to renumber it. So I just click on the parcel 
label on the parcel label and make sure it's this parcel property one tab pop up and you go to this modified tab and you will find that it's renumber or rename there okay just click on this renumber so this is the setting for your renumber so the site will be site A. okay make sure it's on the correct site that you want to change and I want to renumber it. So other than renumber, you can also rename it. Okay, so I just want to change the number. So the starting number is one. So you can always change it to if you want to start the starting number is 100 or 1.1 or A, uh, anything that is uh, in your, uh, follow your specification. Okay. So the increment value will be one. Okay. And then just click on okay. So now, Civil Trade, you want us to uh, draw the flow of your number. So I want to start my number here. I want to start the property number here, one. Okay. And then this is going to be property number two. Okay. Three. And this is going to be property number four. So this is the flow. The flow. Okay. Number one, two, three, four. And I click on enter. So it will highlight it like this. Once it's highlighted like this, so Civil 3D want us to pick the start point. So I want, I'm going to start at the same property one here. Okay, click here and then click enter again. And now you can see automatically Civil 3D will change the property name. So just now this property is property four. And then after I change, I remember it. So this one will be property two, three, and this one will be four. Okay, that is how you renumber or rename it. So for example, you want to extract the detail. You want to uh, make a report or you want to extract uh, the detail area parameter for every property here. So you can do that by you go to this residential A at two space. You expand it and you expand the parcel. So you will find there is a parcel for residential A. For, I, uh, for example, I want to know the detail value, the uh, segment value, the length, the distance for property one. So I just click on this property one, right click, and I go to export analysis. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to do map check analysis. Okay, I just click on this map check analysis. And then I go to, I click on this, and I unclick, I uncheck on this enable map check across court. So this uh, map check uh, across court is, uh, you will create, uh, for example, if your parcel has a, a curve like this, so it will create an imaginary line. So you will calculate the imaginary, imaginary line. Uh, for the curve, it will not calculate the curve if you check on this enable map check cross a uh, court. So I just uncheck it because I want it to calculate the exact value of the curve there. And I click on OK. Okay, so sorry, I need to specify the file placement first. So I'm going to place it into my desktop. This one will be Resi then A, for example, property one, one, A1. Click on save, I click on OK. So this is the detail for property one. You can see the name property one, and there is a north value also, the east value, and it will uh, list down the detail for every segment in your uh, property. Okay, so, uh, uh, how about you want to create like more proper report? Okay, you uh you you want to create more proper report, like you can answer the company name, a detail name, uh, the property name, and so on. So this is just a text file, txt file. So for example, you want to create a PDF file. I just close on this first. So you want to create a PDF report to do filing and so on. So you go to tool space here. You go to toolbox. Okay, I already expand this. So you expand this report manager and you expand this puzzle. So you will find there is puzzle map check report. 
Okay, because just now we do map chart and then see, so I want to do the map chart. I want to extract the map chart report. I right click and I click on execute. So actually it will create the same as the TXT file just now, but it will be more uh, formal. Okay. So I want, you can see here, you can choose uh, any of uh, risk, uh, the property that you want for 41 to, it will uh, differentiate, it will divide it into four property uh, because I have four property here, okay? So if you want everything included in your report, you just click on check on everything. So if you want only uh, uh, one resident one, you can deselect and select. Uh, residential A for property one. So I just want to select all. I want to know, I want to make a report for all property and I click on this create report. So it will automatically create it for you. Parcel map chat report. So this is more formal. You can see there is a client uh, name option there and prepare by who you can insert that. Okay. So this is uh, the property one, property two, so everything detailed for the every property inside your parcel will be shown here. And then you can make report and finally and so on. Okay, so that is how you create a site and parcel in Civil 3D. So thank you for joining me uh, today for the free online courses and see you on our next free online courses. Bye-bye.